So motherfucker tell me something about, you know, men cheating uh, and how it's just, oh, that's just what it is. That's just what it come with, right? And then motherfucker come to me like, I just supposed to agree. And I noticed that with men. It seems like, it seems like y'all have collectively just accepted this concept of you should be able to do something that hurts the God you with because it's just who you are. And she just need to accept that shit. Like, I don't, I don't remember who wrote that bar. I didn't, I don't remember rapping it. I didn't like that part of the song. If this is the, if this is part of the song that emulates the creation of the male existence, this is that part of the song where I mumble through, but I don't know that part. I don't know that part. I didn't make that. I didn't, I just made it. But if that's a part of existence, that ain't where I reign at. Now, mind you, remember I said you are God. Now, if I can convince you. Now, if I can convince you that, you know, hey, let me, you know, I'm going to do a little of this over here. But, you know, I'll behave. I won't bring you back nothing crazy, including no bitch all up in your face talking crazy. I ain't, I'll be incognito. I ain't letting that shit be known. That shit ain't going to be out. But, I, you know, I kind of want to look something different. I ain't trying to leave the home. I'm just trying to, you know, go to a restaurant. Because I, I love my home cooked meal. I'm always going to come home to my cook meal. But from time to time, I like a little restaurant food. So I get y'all when y'all come at me like that. I get that. I'm with you. I reside in the same clip. But the concept that you don't have control of it, the concept of you got to hide because you can't do nothing about it. That's why I disagree. So the concept of just saying, because you have that feeling, it makes you do something in the third dimension. No, nigga, that's choice. That's choice. You're not going to tell me I ain't got that. I'm a God. I always have choice. So that's the thing I disagree with. That's the part of it where when the brother's around me and we talking, you know, with my guys or whatever, and it gets into that type of conversation and it becomes the poke fun at me oh you will accept cute like i'm the only one in the world which if i am cool cool i enjoy having one person that's more than just sex to me i really enjoy the concept of i like this person this person is my person because I could have sworn I did an episode. I don't know if I talked about it. But I know I always tell people. And I always bring it up to the guys when we talk. When it comes around to me. Which it barely do. Because they don't want to hear this bullshit. <laughs> they don't want to hear this shit. They do not believe me. <laughs> they do not believe me. <laughs> and they even. Like little shit has happened. And they been they didn't ran with that. But it was just. It looked that way. But I ain't do shit. It looked that way. But I promise you. I didn't do shit. They run with that. But what I say is. I. Don't invest in anything that depreciates. You think that pussy gonna feel like it fit? Like my bad. Look, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have to put um, explicit on this episode because I want to talk. I'm gonna just talk. All right. <laughs> so you think that pussy gonna feel the same when she get older? You think that pussy gonna feel the same if she have your kids? You're a king and you wanna fill up your castle. You think that pussy gonna feel the same? You think she's gonna be able to move how she was moving with her new body because she? Was the, you know, the vessel used to do what God did to you and be a reflection of our creator and create. She carried it and she was the conduit to bring it through. Came together and made energy. You are a God. Came together and passed down the vibration of creation. Their consciousness. You coming together and put and you putting the goo in her goo and then the goo grow, right? That's one thing that's already amazing in itself. The third dimension of birth is fucking just phenomenal. You, you come from goo and then you just grow bones and skin and facial expressions and hair that keep growing teeth and shit. That's just amazing in itself. But I want you to see what else you're doing because that exists. Like I said, everything I see, I see what already exists. So I see what you see. What I'm telling you is to try to see the shit I'm looking at. <laughs> So basically, with consciousness, you gave birth. You came together 
and created consciousness. That's what God gave you when he breathed life into you. Because I've studied and I can tell you when I looked it up, the translation of the word that we use for spirit or air, I think it's in ancient Arabic. Or Aramaic or Hebrew is one of those ancient languages. The where the original version they say comes from from its language, the word that we translate to mean soul or spirit, actually means air. Air. So if your air is your spirit, it makes sense when you breathe your last breath because you're like this. That's all of your spirit leaving you. Just like the Bible say, bread life. So the breath that it gave to the dirt that it made to be us wasn't us until God breathed life. So the breath makes sense to be your soul or your spirit. That's why I think humans love kissing so much. And me too. Me too. I'm, I'm, this one I'm with y'all. I got all the stuff y'all got. I just want y'all to know it's just the conscience shit that I'm saying that I'm a little different and I feel like we all got it but y'all keep hiding from it so if y'all here listening to me y'all rocking with me we trying to look at that shit so we can party together we gonna party different when you think different everything's get different and I'm just trying to help y'all see what y'all and I'm interested I'm interested to see the version of someone else getting to know themselves. that shit is interesting to me but you came together and not only did you create something in a third dimension, you created conscious. You created an entire consciousness. And in a third dimension, you even created bones. And that's, that's nuts to me. But do you think the way she ride and the way she move and all the things you can do with her is going to still be there if she does that great thing with you? She's the transportation. She's the vessel that emits it. She's the confirmation of your creation. It's like if you go to, like if you got a computer, right? And like you're about to print some shit. And you send that shit of Wi-Fi, which is Wi-Fi is magic. <laughs> but you send that shit of Wi-Fi. The only way you know for sure that it worked is when you go to the printer and it printed out and show it to you. So I'm not saying women are printers and men's are men are computers. I'm just talking about the creation. Don't look at you. Who who you calling a printer? <laughs> uh, I've been tripping with the girl voices. <laughs> I've been tripping with that shit. Yeah, but that's not gonna be the same. It's going to be different. But the way she makes me feel, the way she treats me. The way she cares about me, the way she loves me, the way she allows me to love, how I feel in her presence, how she expresses the way she feels when I'm in her presence. Those things are amazing to me. And I get the third dimension because I'm going to get that. First off, I ain't going to stun on you, but your boy might be a little handsome. Motherfuckers been trying to gas me. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Motherfuckers been trying to gas me. Got me over here. Got me thinking I'm cute. <laughs> Even before that, though, but I was a little handsome. They trying to make it seem like it's more than that. That's what they doing. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it. Um, So I get what you get from it. It just isn't as strong as a driving force in me because that doesn't vibrate deeply enough for me. I mean, I like it. It's the best thing we can do. It's the best feeling you can get in this third dimension, in my opinion. I don't want to hear shit about, but when I had my baby, it was the greatest moment of my life. If you the guy, you ain't do shit but sit there and watch her poo-poo and pee-pee on herself. Come on now. <laughs> and if you woman, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. That shit really hurt. So that might be the greatest moment of your life emotionally but I, I ain't say that i said third dimension and third dimension the best feeling is is some is, is sex but come on come on now you tell me something that feel better hmm hmm oh uh oh, oh i guess guess i was right 
I guess we can all agree on that. I, I get it, and it's amazing. And to get varieties of it, you get more conscious edification because something new gets you more excited. And then just the concept of what if is something you start to lose by being with someone. I just don't think they're that valuable. I feel them too. But the way I look at things, and this is what I think would happen if you get more knowledge yourself. Because you'll see it. I, I'm not making this up. This is what I see. Shit, what if I fall off? Like, and to like make everything, to start the predication on that would just be ridiculous to me. Like anything that is going to depreciate, how can I make a long-term investment to something that I know is temporary?